cupid bow actually refers to an area of your mouth. When we talk about the cupid bow, we're simply talking about the natural V that's right here at the top of the lip. If you wanted to enhance that or enunciate it, I would advise just simply drawing a V And my model, Haley Spung, has a beautiful mouth. But the point of the cupid's bow lip is that it's more angular, and there are sharp points at the top. So where her lip may naturally curve, we're actually going to make it more pointed and enunciate the V. You'll see this look sometimes in high fashion, in more editorial work. You can incorporate it into your everyday look, though. We're sort of building that color out. And then you can simply just match point to point. This point to this point, and this point to this. Then what I would advise is just drawing a simple line in the center of the bottom lip, and then you could match those points up. This is a good way to learn how to line your lips, sort of like connect the dots. Okay, now we're going to fill that in with just a pretty complimentary lip stick color. can blend over the line just a little bit so that it looks more natural. This would be a great color just for a daytime look. You could of course fill in the lips a little bit too with the liner and pull that color down in. But the point of the cupid bow lip is that it's more angular and the points are sharper at the top. She could, of course, blot this, put a little gloss in the center just to enhance her pretty bottom lip. I think that this would be a good example of a cupid's bow lip. This is all about having fun too. So experiment with your lips and see how you like that. <laughs> so I'm Lisa Nelson and that's how I would do a cupid's bow lip.